moving better. And, you know, um, some of us have a lifetime of um, not being able to use our arms, you know, our hands, right? And we train ourselves every day, you know, knowing that, but to get stronger, knowing that it's not going to fully recover, but you're working, you're doing all the work that you can. So, um, you know, I don't have that issue. So, but that doesn't mean that I didn't have a stroke. And, you know, if someone is saying, well, you know, I don't have short term memory loss, you know, what, are you sure? Or, you know, something to that effect. And, um, you know, it's just that we are completely different. And it is just very interesting to go and look at all the different types of complications for all this, the strokes there are. And, you know, when you see the whole list, it does not mean that you check off every single one of them. You may check off a few. There may be some that are not even listed on there that, you know, um, post-traumatic stress disorder is not mentioned on mine. Um, is that part of the emotional component? It is, but they don't specifically call it out. Um, so, um, you know, there, there's other things. I mean, you know, because we are completely different on how it affected us and, you know, how we're recovering and what did it mess up and, you know, how are we training ourselves? So, you know... I just think that, you know, to call someone out and question someone if they had a stroke or not because they don't check that box that you think that they should be checking off is highly insulting. And um, when you think back of your own hell you went through when you had your stroke and how scary that was. And if you say that to someone, you know, you're taking away their own hell that they went through. And, you know, like, I, who wants to say that they had a, who lies and says I had a stroke? And, you know, is displaying a vulnerable side of themselves or trying to help other people out. Like, why would anyone ever question that? And, you know, maybe they're naive thinking that maybe it could be something else that happened. But I want to break the news to everyone that um, we all had scans. We were all seen by medical, you know, doctors, neurosurgeons. You know, we've had the best care. We got our diagnosis. So, you know, yes, we did have a stroke. And no, we all are. All are experiencing that different. Depends on your type of stroke. Depends on how it hit. You know, um, with my type of stroke, it's so rare. And, you know, most people die. And, um, you know, um, another portion of it have um, severe disabilities. And then there's a small percent that make it out okay. And I'm that small percent that you would put me in the okay category because I'm not, you know, I, I can, I'm, I'm functioning, but, you know, I do check off boxes, though, of complications. But, you know, could you tell from looking at me that something was wrong? No. Um, I mean, you might think I'm a crazy person, but it depends on the day, but I don't know. I, so this piece is really, I just, um, I want to do it because my journey is, or 
the path that I am choosing to go on is um, to advocate for mental health for stroke survivors. That's my mission and lobbying and doing whatever I can to help. Um, so when myself or if I hear from other people um, deal with something emotional and it's from comments of ignorance of not knowing about strokes or complications that adds weight to the emotional baggage that we carry with us every day. And I really, really wish, um, if you feel up to it, go on and, and look at the different types of strokes, complications, and look up different strokes and, you know, um, start educating yourself about it and what people go through and um, realize that we don't all check off all the boxes and, you know, we're all different, completely unique. So the bottom line is um, if someone says they had a stroke, you had they had a stroke, okay? And um, we are supposed to be supportive of one another. Um, it's essential that there has to be a sense of community and feeling safe. So if you see any of us and we're putting out these videos or showing, you know, tips, you know, that we're, we've learned that have helped us, you know, we are exposing ourselves, you know, um, to help other people, um, to, you know, hopefully assist them. And, you know, that's our choice that we've, we've made to be, you know, more, um, display ourselves out there. So I think, you know, because of that, um, there just needs to be a little more compassion um, and respect on maybe you didn't mean to make a comment in a certain way, but I, you know, be careful on how you phrase your questions. Um, because, you know, it, like I said, it, it puts a lot of weight on there. So, you know, this is just, um, this is something that we do that's beneficial for ourselves to be able to have an outlet to let things out. Um, but otherwise we might be just sitting down and, and just getting in our own heads. Um, so it's just easier for us to say it out loud and why not do it on video and have everyone show it. So and you know we've been through a tough journey and we know the recovery and so you know what we're showing is really to help out you know stroke survivors that are in their infancy of having a stroke um or you know maybe hasn't processed or you know something for you to learn to you know exercises to do, um, how to retrain your mind, um, how to process your emotions. Like each one of us serve like a different piece of all the different complications that you can have. And I think that's amazing. So, you know, I know someone that, you know, they share like all these wonderful techniques of like retraining, you know, the functionality. And, you know, it's just like, I don't have that issue, but I find it wonderful because that's so beneficial to someone that might struggle, you know, with their mobility and doing stuff. And, you know, they came up with unique stuff to like help retrain and, you know, it kind of looks like fun doing all these things, but 
You know, that's like a great source of like watching someone, you know, they're saying like, this is what I've got and watch what I do. And, you know, for me, like I have my short term memory and I've got my emotional stuff and, you know, look, I, I have videos on it. Like I, I'm, I bear every single thing out there, you know, and you know, so I'm trying to, my purpose is to serve the emotional component of having a stroke. And then, you know, you'll see other people that are learning to walk and, you know, they're showing videos of them, like, you know, making it to point, you know, A to point B, which may not seem too far, but that's a huge celebration. So it's displaying hope. Um, you know, and that like it can be done or, you know, someone is learning how to, you know, um, do different things that, you know, they, a normal person could do, but they're trying to figure out cl clever ways of like opening a door, or doing stuff. Um, you know, we all are just putting out our um, stuff because A, we're happy that we've made progress. B, we understand that it is a hard thing. C, we want to make sure that when people come and, you know, try to, to find a community that they have a lot of resources to see what it may or may not look like for them. So, you know, we're just here to help out. Um, that's all we're doing. You know, it, it takes a lot for someone to, um, expose themselves and um of what they're going through so um, you know i commend all of you fellow stroke survivors for being brave enough to get on and expose what you're going through and um you know you're making progress and you're helping, you know, you're, you're laying out a nice road map for someone who may not think that, you know, they're going to get to that point. And, you know, maybe they may not get to that point, but, you know, maybe they might midway get to that point. But, you know, everyone, when you have your stroke, it's like all hope is like completely out the door initially. And you have to reconcile that with yourself as you start learning what you can and cannot do and different ways that affects you. So, and as time goes on, you, um, become strong and you, you find a, a way and, you know, there's wonderful teams out there that try to help you find your way and, you know, um, finding a community, um, to follow is extremely beneficial because, you know, um, we're firsthand, you know, um, we're not medical experts, but we're experts in what we've experienced. So, you know, we can say this is what's happening. So, you know, so that's basically my piece. Um, it was just something that like I've noticed and um, it's just kind of bothered me a bit. Um, and um, like I said, it's just a small, tiny, tiny percent of people that will do that. And um, I think with anything, there's you know, what do you call them? Trolls, you know, that you will see like on Facebook comments or whatever that that's their mission in life. But, you know, to question someone if they are sure if they had a stroke is quite something to say to someone because it is um, very deep what we went through. So I think my assignment, like I said, is um, 
if you feel up to it, is look at the different types of strokes that are out there and um, read up on the complications. And um, that way you can be a little more empathetic towards that person. And maybe, you know, then when you see them do something, you're, you are more like, oh my God, good job, you know, type situation. So overall, you know, we're a community and we need to support one another no matter what. And um, it's good for our emotional health have this support system and um, thankfully we have uh, social media to help us in this journey. Um, I don't know what it would have been like had this not happened, you know, no social media. Like, I think I probably have like a, an appointment with a therapist like every single day. I don't know. But I learn stuff from people watching their stuff and, you know, and then when you say things um, or do like a video or something, you know, people make suggestions, which is great. So anyways, it's it's really is a great community and I do feel that we respect one another and I applaud anyone that sits and exposes themselves to say what they're going through. And I commend you if you don't do that, and but you're reading up on it and watching it, you know, to, to learn. So, you know, it doesn't mean you're any less because you don't choose to sh share your experience. I mean, that's just a personal decision. So, um, you know, keep doing what we're doing, guys. Um, it is a, it's a fight. And it is a community and uh, we got to be there for one another. So if anyone ever questions you or says something that makes you feel a certain type of way, um, handle it the way that you want to handle it. Um, uh, it's personal decision on your end on how you want to deal with that. Um, I have said that I will just cut you completely out um, because I just, I don't need that in my life. Um, you know, uh, if you want, you can go back and look at all my pictures and see like what I went through, but I don't feel like, you know, if, if you have to prove what happened to you, that person's not worth it, so. But expect that that's going to be there. I mean, that's for anything. I think if you went to like um, knee trauma or like some some little thing, like I bet, you know, those people who have, you know, stuff out there are getting questions like, are you sure about this? And uh, it's just, are you sure? I'm like, I'm starting to hate that word now so we're not the only ones guys everyone goes through it anyone with any kind of medical trauma i mean someone seems to be like a complete expert on something and thinks that we are um, cookie cutters on our experience when we are not cookie cutters we are 100 percent different completely different. Our journeys will never mirror each other, ever. We will never have it the same. Just like emotion, like we may all be emotional, but like to varying degrees and, and, and different types of emotional problems, like it may be completely different. So just, you know, Respect, listen, be thankful for the information that's being sent out and, um, you know, research if you feel it. And, um, you know, that's just my 
pretty much my long discussion of um, the weekend. Um, so I was going to do it tomorrow, but um, it's time that I accept that um, we're going to the cold months. So I have to pack up my summer clothes and make room for all my winter clothes. So it sucks. So, and I'm probably going to sleep some more. I don't know. I feel I'm like really worn out this week. So, um, anyways, um, hopefully, hopefully you got something out of this long video. So, um, and then, um, I just released my blog on, um, pretty much learning how to carve out some time where you're not identifying as a stroke victim, like, you know, stroke life can't be 24 hours a day for us, even though it is, but we've got to learn how to do something where like, we feel like ourselves. I think it's very important. So, and then, um, my other blog that kind of goes into detail more of what I just covered. Um, I will release that soon and I have some other things that I'm going to do. Um, I usually do like short topic of the day videos. Um, I don't know how often I'll do those anymore. Like I said, my husband is now working from home, so it's kind of hard to do these videos when he's home. Um, I don't know why, like, it's like embarrassing. It's like, it's just like, I guess I have to get over it, right? <laughs> so, oh, anyways, so my last words to you guys are keep at it. Thank you for sharing your journeys. I appreciate you guys completely. And uh, many people do. So keep it up. Um, we, this is something that is critical for us to do because there are people that are just getting out of, you know, the hospital and they're researching about what recovery looks like. And, you know, this is just really a great source, you know, for them to look at how, you know, there's different things, you know, and how people are getting through it. So, um, no, we're not medical experts by any means. We're not MDs, you know, all, every little degree you could add to it. Um, we are just survivors, so this is just information based on our surviving, you know, of how we've, we've coped. So, as I always say, um, with anything, um, if you feel that you are in a dark place or feeling out of sorts, please contact a psychiatrist, psychologist, a licensed therapist, um, very important because they are your number one resource or a hotline if you feel like you are um, feeling pretty dark. Um, I say that on every single video um, because, you know, I, I don't know where you are in your mental state. So if you're feeling you know, really lost, you know, the, those professionals are there for a purpose and that's to help you get through that rut. So, um, my information is just mainly like, you know, relatability and, you know, just like tips. So, um, I'm not a professional. I'm treating people for this. So I'm just sharing my experience. So if you feel yourself going in a dark way, please, um, seek help, um, through a professional. So, but if you're not, I hope this is helpful. 
and um, I hope this is helpful for any other survivor of anything um, to just uh, in their head remember that um, don't ever let that 1% person keep you from doing what you're doing or feel the need that you have to prove that something happened because you know we don't choose to have this experience like the um to make it up so ignore those people deal with them the best way you can you know say i wish we could have supported one another it doesn't seem that this is a great fit so um for my you know uh journey i'm gonna have to let you go and um hopefully you can find another group that maybe fits your needs better but um you know I apologize I wish it could have gone another way and and move on and um, if they apologize to me I just if it, it slips out I just don't think that they're going to be positive but that's me that's just how I deal with it so um, but I'm a little more ruthless <laughs> I just cut um, I, you know some people are more delicate so which I suppose you probably should be more delicate. So um, I will think of that next time, you know, learning, learning. So anyways, um, I will have some more um, next weekend, some more stuff um, diving deep more into the emotional aspect of a stroke. Um, this one was just something that I felt was needed because um, it's been weighing on my mind lately and, you know, kind of something that's happened to me has happened to other people and um, I see it creep up to um, on pages and for some reason it seems like it happens more on Facebook so I just try to stay away from those groups so I and I don't even really say much on them I just like read comments and I'm like you really you're gonna say that so but anyways if you choose to share your journey and someone says that don't let that discourage you you're helping people that's all that matters and even if you don't reach out and help anyone if you feel good after you're done with your video like wow like you know I, I i'm doing something that's really all that matters so am i reaching out and helping people get through mental health i don't know that's a great benefit if it is if not for me like personally being able to just like say the emotional things it makes me feel better um, when I talk about it. So, you know, it's whoever you hit is a benefit. And, and if it hits you good, that's the most important thing out of this whole thing. So anyways, have a good weekend guys. And I will talk to you later. Good fashion way.